please remain seated. The event will begin shortly. I hope you enjoy your stay here in the Glitch Realm. Alright guys, welcome back to our flashback series, Yu-Gi-Oh! Fallsbound Kingdom, Battle for Sue Hut. Um, we'd already gotten our teams changed up, so let's go ahead and get right into the battle. We're actually doing, um, we're doing fairly well. Uh, again, the fact that we have our, um, you know, we have some of our more powerful mods here in the new game plus is really good, but the enemies do, mat uh, do match us as well. Uh, so this is what we're looking at right here. Um, we've got quite a few enemies. We've got some that are actually heading our way. What we're going to do is we're going to send Tristan here. There is no defenses on the castle. And we're going to send uh, Fizdiz here. Um, so enemy castle-wise, the main enemy castle has an air cannon and a ground cannon. So no matter what runs through there, we'll actually take damage. Uh, Cthujan has it as well. Oh, we're in a battle. Um, so the reason those are important right now is because if we walk into it, uh, the cannons will hit us, and then we're spending, uh, time trying to, uh, then we're gonna, I should've targeted the, the lobster. Uh, but then we're, sp we're having to retreat and then try to heal, um, so it's not good running into those. Um, sometimes we do have to go ahead and fodder out one of our guys and then send him right back to a base and get his mons healed. Um, I believe this stage gives us an alternative, and sometimes we send the uh, we send the opposite. Um, so now that I think about it, I do need to make sure I have a, a team where someone's got a f like a flyer, and then I have my ground ones. So that way I can kind of keep everybody separate. Uh, but all in all, I trust Tristan and uh, Fist uh, and Fizzis to get through uh, get through these enemies really quick. Um, we'll make the progress that we need to make. Uh, since the Phantom is still guarding, we'll go ahead and start targeting the slot machine here. There's that Millennium mine. Targeting our Swamp Battle Guard. Oh, and he got the Paralyzes off. Everyone seems to like to target the Swamp Battle Guard, which I find super interesting since that's not the scary monster in this team comp. Uh, but let's go ahead and see if we can take out the Phantom. Uh, we may have to retreat Tristan so we can uh, so we can heal the Swamp Battle Guard. We want to make sure we're being smart about this and not just letting our team um, just get run down. That's not. That's definitely not something we want. There he goes. But I think if uh, if this one goes right, Swamp Battleguard will actually be done with his uh, leveling up. It, doing the stuff like this just makes me think of Pokemon. Um, you know, where you go and you grind and you grind. Let's see if we can actually get that crit hit here. I think that's what that's supposed to do, but I can't remember. At least it does a decent amount of damage. Okay. So we'll get Thunder Point Blast here. Finish it off with a purple blade. All right, so we'll, more than likely we'll have to retreat Tristan. We want to heal his stuff back up. Definitely so, because Swamp Battle Guard will need um, is going to need uh, to be involved in some more battles if we want to get him leveled up. Okay, so Tristan, come back. We're gonna gonna heal you up. Let's get a healer to put in place. What does the trader have for us today? Okay. Uh, I didn't see anything in there that I needed, so I was glad, glad I got that quick glance. Okay, so we're going to check and see if the enemy's got any healing items here. So Dark Magician Girl cannot set off the combo. Um, that's one big thing to note there. She can uh, say she can't set off the combo here. Only Magician Black Chaos and Dark Magician 1 and 2 can. So right now we're just going to do the extra damage here with her, and then we're going to do the Dark Burning Magic combo here. So you guys, you guys get to see this. So you, uh, this is my favorite combo. The Dark Magician series, line of monsters is still my favorite. I really do need to build, like, I have a deck for it IRL, but it needs quite a bit of updating. Um, and we're able to go right ahead and do it again with Dark Magician number one. 
Um, yeah, it needs quite a bit of updating. Um, I did get some early uh, early support with them when they first started do uh, when they first started doing them, but uh, started giving it more cards. But I never never hunted down like to get my like play sets or. Honestly, I think my deck's kind of like everywhere right now. Um, I'm getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh, but more into the GOAT formats or just like the, the theme deck format of playing. Um, and even going so far as like looking into Speed Duel. I think Speed Duel looks super, super more and more interesting to, to me than what it was before. Um, so that's the Dark Magician team. Um, as you can see, even with an under-level Dark Magician. Um, so reason that Dark Magician is such a low level you actually get him pretty early in the game uh reason he is such a low level is you have to do the blackluster ritual on guy the fierce knight and dark magician and they give you blackluster soldier and magician of black chaos and then you have to recollect uh recollect the monster all right so in base you do heal um we went ahead and just paid to have the extra uh like i said there is a hang on up down down left right left right I don't know if I can do it fast enough. So if you heard that, the where he says that, that gives you money. It's the uh, the Konami code. So if I ever feel like I need money, so if you hear that as we're randomly playing, um, I'm doing that to just get a little bit extra money. That's the only um, code. Well, that's the only code I know of that works in the game, uh, and it's just and it's just for money. And. Uh, that's how we end up replacing it. So you should have heard it twice because I tried doing it twice just to make sure it would work. Um, uh, let's check see if you have items. No, then we'll target you. Um, so yeah, if I ever start getting to the point where I'm like, ah, I'm low on money and I need these items or we need to heal, um, that'll probably be around the time I do it. I haven't really had to do that code too often because the game, the game isn't stingy with money, especially if you've done quite a few playthroughs. Um, and then honestly, all you're really going for, uh, in the multiple replays is trying to make sure you get enough items. Um, like you want to give all the blue eyes is one, you know, one polymerization and then, uh, like anything to increase their attack. Like that's what you want to give them. Um, it's the same for Sangha, uh, Sangha of Thunder, Sui Jin, and Kazajin. You want to give them, you know, each a polymerization and then whatever thing increases their damage. Um, that's kind of what you build up to later because since you have the healer and all of that, you can just at base heal. Um, and you don't have to really worry about it too much in the uh, in the battles because as long as you strategize right and have the right items, that should give you the advantage for the win. Um, so that's one thing we're definitely gonna be looking for as we go forward is making sure we have all the right items for everyone. So uh, like we saw, I needed the the spirit harper, the silver bow and arrow for um, Sangha, which we did not get it here. So we don't want Fizz to go forward because Fizz will get obliterated right there. Um, we're going to go ahead and just wait for Tristan to do what he needs to do. Actually, I think I'm supposed to set it off. Hang on. We're going to move Fizz forward. I think I have to actually set it off and then retreat back. I think is how that works. But let's get Tristan here to take down this enemy and then also look at the traitor here. Uh, let's see. Any healing items? No. Then we're going to go ahead and start targeting that water aqua there. See if we can get her eliminated off quick. She had pretty low health. I, was fi I figured we were going to be able to kind of plow through her easy. Um, We'll target Slot Machine next. He has more action stars than Judge Man, so I'm not super worried about Judge Man right now. Yeah, limiting the number of attacks. I don't know why they all go for Swamp Battle Guard, though. That kind of blows my mind a little bit that they just want to keep going after him. I would be targeting the Swordsman from a foreign land. Do I have the items equipped on? Oh, I, I must for me to be doing that much damage with the uh, Swamp Battle Guard. But let me hammer justice. Okay, well, I guess they heard me because now they're switching targets up here. Yep, okay. 
So yeah, it's just silver bow and arrows. That's all I'm missing for Song of Thunder. Let's go ahead and keep pounding away on slot machine here. Okay, we should definitely get him. So now we'll just be down to Judge Man, which is what we want. And he's only got, what, two more? Yeah, two more action stars. Oh, well, with the amount of damage we put out, Judge Man should end up going down. Um, yeah, he'll get one more attack off, and we should be able just to kind of plow through him for the rest of it. Alright, Sangha, hit him. And then Purple Blade for the finish. Let's see how much closer that gets us for Swamp Battle Guard. Um, so Swamp Battle Guard does combo with um, Lava Battle Guard. They do have a uh, they do have a uh, a unique move together with both of the uh, with both of them. Uh, just in case anybody was wondering. Okay, so that got me Bakura. So we need to retreat Fizz. Uh, you need to. So you know the two millennium items I own is actual necklaces. Besides all my Norse, uh, besides my Norse stuff, I have a I have a Norse necklace and things like that. I have a little millennium puzzle, um, and then a millennium ring. I don't know why, but the millennium ring. I loved the millennium rod as a kid, and then as I got older, I really liked the millennium ring. So yeah, we need to retreat Fizz, and then let uh, let Bakura do his thing. Um, Bakura is gonna go ahead and try to help us out. Uh, Fizz, return. Let's go ahead and build a trade union here and see what they got. Uh, Book of Secret Arts. Let's only watch for the Dark Link where it gives attack power but inflicts heavy damage. Let's go ahead and. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll get nine more Book of Secret Arts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I don't know if I have many black pendants, so that's why I wanted to get some of those. Um. The monsters are slowly going to heal. Let's see, there's only three. Let's look and see what these Marshall's monsters have, item-wise. Nothing for that one. Nothing for that one. So let's check the main guy. Nope. Um, so what we'll do now is to... So that way we can kind of prep for uh, the final battle here. We'll go ahead and get Gaia all set. We'll have him arrive here. And then we're just waiting for Bakura. So this is another one where we're kind of waiting, but we're just going to get everyone in position. Um, in fact... Uh, see, he took some damage. I think Fizz, Fizz and Tristan will be okay. We'll kind of go ahead and get them prepped as well. Um, we are being a little... I'm not going to say risky because they, these are, you know, these are strong monsters. But if, you know, if they're not healing and you just put them in through too many fights, eventually someone will wear them down. The only team that that never happens for is actually the the harpies just because of their ability to um to stun okay let's let's take my back out of the camera there a little bit um yeah the harpies ability to to do their stun and just keep going off is what makes them super formidable um we do also have to watch out with bakura um like with how long this takes for bakura because the enemies, uh, the enemy, um, marshals do respawn. Uh, same as ours after a certain amount of time. So that's another reason why we're wanting to go ahead and get prepped, uh, for this. Because right now we're just on that, uh, 
we're on that time frame here. You know, I'm trying to think. I was looking at the time limit in the top right corner there with the little time wizard clock. And I was trying to think if I've ever played, if I ever have went to time in a stage. And I think I did when I originally played this game back when it first came out. Um, I think I was in junior high. And it was, it was the stage where you get summoned skull. See, someone came back. Um, it was the stage where you get summon skull, and I remember, I, oh man, that's a lot of people coming back. Um, I remember having to keep going back and healing, and then like, I was having to heal, and then I was struggling to fight because everything was such a low level, and then I was having to wait for some of my people to come back. Perfect. Okay, so that's what we were waiting for. Uh, unfortunately, the enemy marshals did already come back. But if they head into wherever I decide, you know... Let's see, so Fizz is going to go here. Tristan's going to go here. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and have Yugi just go ahead and make his way in. Alright, so Fizz should hopefully be able to take this before... Yugi, uh, before Yugi reaches his, uh, his area. Um, thankfully with these revived marshals, they're, as you can see, their monsters clearly are not at full health, so doing this, the dark burning magic special, uh, should actually just end up being easy experience for us. Oh, one survived. Slowly but surely. Say, so, I don't think it'll be too long. Maybe five, six chapters, maybe, with Dark Magician number two? Because we are making sure to include everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, Yugi popped in. Um. Okay, so. As for following my rules, Yugi technically isn't allowed to finish the enemy here. So what we'll end up doing, um, just because I do want to follow my rules, we'll go ahead and summon Obelisk. We'll go ahead and have Yugi do a, uh, a shakedown. I guess I didn't think Yugi would get there that fast, because even Tristan didn't make it, and Swordsman of the Foreign Land actually moves pretty quick. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to go ahead and do our normal thing with Obelisk, but we need to make sure we don't kill all three of the monsters. Which, the one that, I mean, one guarded, but there's quite a bit of health on that battle ox. Uh, I do have to remember there is a chance of crit, uh, which could just go ahead and end the game. I mean, if, if that happens, it happens. There's not much I can do about that. Alright, so we got rid of, uh, we got rid of one, got rid of Mountain Warrior. I personally would like the Battle Ox to go away. So let's see if I can get him eliminated. Yeah, so even more so that he has the extra action stars there. Say bye to the battle box here. Alright, and then it's just gonna be the Sax Raider. That won't be too bad. We might not even have to summon an Egyptian god when Yugi comes back. Um So by doing escape, it uh it automatically takes the rest of my action points. I could have went ahead and guarded, but I just wasn't too worried about it. And then when we uh, when we come back with my uh, with Yugi here, we should I'll say we should just be able to do uh, do everything with our regular mons. All right, Tristan's where he needs to be. All 
Alright, so Tristan fi is fighting a full health team. They are all on that healing, though. We already checked if they don't have anything. Um. Yeah, we'll just target one of the Mega Zowlers and try to just go from there, because now with them all healing, we do have to watch out a little bit. Well, at least now I know it'll take them a little bit before they eliminate uh, Swamp Battle Garden. Uh, let's hopefully, hopefully Sangha. Yeah, it'll take them a little bit. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and keep focusing down this one. We should be able to get it, or um, Urabi will get a... Get another attack here soon. Let's hope he just chooses to guard again. Oh, nope. We get to go. Alright, that's one Mega Zowler down. Alright, so the herb I waited. So let's go ahead. AI is picking some weird targets on this one. Let's go ahead and focus down the herb I. Let's do our special to try to guarantee that like seven eight hundred damage. All right, he guarded, so we're gonna actually wait it out. I, I don't want to waste my attacks, especially for it having full health. I'd rather try to make the rest of these moments count. Uh, it does look like Swamp Battle Guard is gonna go down here soon, though. Oh, yeah, very soon. He got another turn. No worries. We should be able to finish it with who we have left here. And plus Mega Zowler's down to its last action point, so... Come on, B-Crit. Uh, I was hoping. Alright, so Tristan will do what he needs to do. He's gonna... Gonna take in this base for us. Um, I still want to stop Yugi if I can. A Song of Thunder might actually get, uh... Might be done in the next, uh... Next chapter as well. Okay. Nope, didn't make it Yugi in time. Alright, so Fizz is going to focus on another of a revived Marshall. We'll just do some Dark Brain magic and try to clear this one out quick. I might just have to go to my Z menu and stop Yugi really fast. Oh, well, it's just speaking of quick. There we go. That was quick. Pretty sure I just saw a enemy marshal spawn right below uh, Yugi there. So this is about to get super interesting for our final fight here. We got a lot of the marshals returning. Sure, we're targeting a weaker one first because they're more than likely going to get Dark Magician number two out. Oh, good, he got a turn. I was worried he wasn't going to get to do anything. So, this will help him gain more experience because he participated in the battle. Oh, and we'll get to do this one. He might actually just straight up survive the battle at this point. Yep, he just straight up survived the battle. Let's go. Dark the Dark Magician team is really good. And Dark Magician number two is getting up there, is getting up there for us, so I really don't think it's gonna be much longer and we'll end up uh we'll end up swapping him out. 
Okay, so really quick, let's get a trader going. Enchanted Javelin. Uh, I think I need some. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Uh, looks like they're heading towards Fizz. Actually, it's a trader. Only where one's because wheel displayed. Flicks bonus. I think that one's the one that just inflicts damage, bonus damage on dragons. Which that's not going to do much for us. Alright, more than likely Dark Magician number 2 is out here. Yep. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and just wait for Dark Magician Girl, see what all we can get done with Dark Burning Magic. Because either way, we still need to train up Dark Magician 1. Oh, all that's left is the Silver Fang. Alright, so we don't want, uh, say, I don't want to need any of the uh, Sword of Dragon Soul. Um, I'd rather just have the uh, the Legendary Sword equipment, regard. I think that would just be better, because it just boosts a warrior attack all around. Alright, so let's turn Yugi around. Um, I'll go ahead and build a build. Go ahead and build a healer. Uh, I don't need to heal her. I've been buying a lot. Um, see, I'll wait till I actually need the money before I do that code because I can't always put it in right. But yeah, so if you're ever if you're ever playing this game and you're like, ah, I wish I had more money so I could improve my monsters and stuff like that, um, the classic Konami code, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, um, and he'll say Yu-Gi-Oh. And then you'll uh, you'll get so much gold added to your um, to your uh, to your stock there. Uh, I think the Kaiba one, when you do it in Kaiba, he laughs and then says Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, that settled that for us. I mean, really all we're doing is just giving more experience to Dark Magician number two here. Well, this fight ended up going a little bit longer than what I thought. We had Mark, we had enemy marshals get revived, we had to wait for Bakura, so this one actually had a lot more going, uh, going into it. We got to talk about the Konami code for this game. Um, there's a lot more to this episode than I thought there was going to be. I don't know why, but for some reason I was like, oh, well, we'll just end up kind of flying, uh, kind of flying through this. Uh, no, there was a lot more to this than what I had initially thought. All right. So, no point in summoning a uh, Egyptian god here. We should be able to take out Axe Raider without having to do that. So we're going to just go ahead and blast him with the regular bombs here. Not everything requires the power of a god. So either way, it's still good experience. All right. No, Bakura definitely helped a lot by us not having to really worry about the. Um, the cannons and stuff. Those things do quite a bit of damage. They're also good to build on our side as well. Alright, so the next chapter is called Turbulent Waters. Let's kind of get the intro here. Having freed all of Voxy Island, Yugi's Resistance Army has secured firm a firm power base. The Resistance is now gathering its troops to cross over the, uh, I'm going to say Gigan Seep. Gigan Sip Strait and take a foothold on the mainland. The loss of Capulia and Voxy has left the Imperial forces badly shaken. The coast is almost undefended. However, although small in number, General Sekmaten leads a unit well versed in naval warfare. They plan to stop the resistance before it reaches the mainland. Will Yugi find a way to defeat Sekmaten's naval unit and reach the mainland? Find out next time. 
All right, so as we do at the end of every episode, we uh, we do try to go ahead and edit our characters here. Um, so, small battle guard, you did what you're supposed to do. We're gonna go ahead and go all the way back up here to our levels. What is our next level? Lower level one that we don't have. So I'm never gonna win on this one until I fuse them again. That's what'll make the blue eyes level 99. So don't worry too much when you see these fusions and they're not um, they're not like max level. Uh, they're not going to be until I fuse, and then they automatically go up to the max level of your of your mons. It does the average, I think, when you fuse. Um, so when we fuse again, we'll get to level 99 of that. So the fusions, I'm not worried about seeing level 99 because it automatically does it. So Illusory Gentleman is our next one here. Already has Book of Secrets. So that's awesome. All right, and Bakura already has a mon that I would like to see him have. Well, actually. I might need that on Satsu later because of something that happens with Bakura's character, so hang on. So, let's give Bakura... I mean, Zonki's also a good one. Let's give him Zonki. And then, we'll give him Mystical Elf. And then we got Crawling Dragon. Now, let's look at items for Crawling Dragon. Because I think it's that Dragonic Attack card that does it. Enemies from dodging an attack. Maybe dragons don't have... Oh, we have Dragonic Fury. When used in battle, this makes all dragon monsters go berserk and boost attack and enables special powers. I mean... Is Dragonic Fury really what powers up dragons? I guess I'll have to get Dragonic Furies. Okay, so we got Bakura's team changed. We got everyone else worked on. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you've been enjoying this series. We are going to go through everybody's story, so this is going to be a long one. So I hope you guys are ready for, the, ready for this ride. But thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. It means the world to me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching the channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We hope you have enjoyed your time in the Glitch Realm.